Galantoy here. Hey, so I wanted to show you guys a new project that I've been working on. Uh, it's a breeding system. It's quite a bit different than what you see on YouTube these days. Um, what this is, is it's actually a mass breeding uh, system so that you're not having to keep track of mine carts or anything like that. You just simply mass breed and forget it. Um, you just have to wait 20 minutes for the babies to grow, grow up and that's really not too bad it once you get a large scale production going on anyway i'm going to show you how these things work um, i have them set up for pigs cows and chickens um, it works with all the animals and it looks like we have some survivors or at least some people that got hung up here <laughs> um, but basically what it does is it takes your stock uh, from the breeding bay here um, which is right here and it distributes them, or at least they tend to push and shove like a traditional slaughterhouse into this little chamber here. Um, and I'll show you how that works. So it opened those doors to allow them in and it stopped the water flow so they're not getting pushed into the chamber down here. I'm going to do the same with these guys. And let's do chickens also. Chickens are quite special, and I'll go over that later. Um, I'm going to take you to a creative world to show you how this is all done. Okay. Well, it looks like our pigs are all ready. Alright, and our uh, cow participants are ready as well. There we go. Oh, we got plenty of chickens. Look at that. Yep, and then you can see them being pushed down, and they're getting delivered right up to this little killing chamber. Um, if you don't know, that's just a lava bucket that's in that um, dispenser, and that's true with all three. And here we go. Um, <laughs> they're looking at me. Here we go. Alright, so it shuts off just before they die so that you get 100% return on your pig. So you get plenty of meat here. Um, same thing with the cows. It's all pre-cooked. And you get some leather as well. There you go. Um, the cool thing, you can set it up too if you wanted to use a looting sword. You just hit them through the little slat. Um, chickens, like I said, they're special. Um, and I'll show you why. So you see how they took time to die? Um, it's because they were just touched by the lava. And here's another cool feature. You don't have to worry about any of it dying, or any of your stuff burning up either. It's completely protected. There we go. And those drops are just simply there so I can collect the loot. Anyway, um, I'm going to take you to my creative world just so you can see how this is made. Okay, so here we are in the creative world where I have the design of the breeding system all stripped down to its basics uh, so you can see how it's working. Um, I can break it down into four different sections. You have the center section controlling the doors, then you have the side sections controlling the pistons on the side, um, one for your water sources and then the other to prevent your animals from getting into your killing chamber too early. And of course you have the fourth section which is your building and breeding section. So I'll kind of go over those with you here. So the first section, um, well first of all I should describe this is gold blocks um, just simply representative because I have the whole design here extracted so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so here we are, you have your uh, center section. Um, this is where your signal goes in, is into the center. You have three repeaters going into blocks, um, sending the signal to the other side where there's three torches, and then of course it continues on to those blocks, then torches, then blocks. I'm sure you're familiar with that. And then you have your doors. So you're looking at one, two, three, four. On the fifth block you put your doors. Um, and then there's a sixth block because you drop down one to the get to the side sections. Um, and the thing about the sides is that they're completely symmetrical, so they're just a mirror 
image of each other, so you're pretty much building the same thing twice. Um, and <laughs> bear with me here. So this is where your uh, side section starts. And you would want two repeaters right here. Then that continues on into a vertical line on up. And then the important thing is that you have two torches on the inside of this block here. Um, and you have your pistons and, and controlling the uh, well the floor section here, so that you're not having to worry about your animals getting out. Of course, you can see that's your floor, and that becomes your collection chamber for your animal animals, um, and that's how you would end up building that. Um, and right here, this is the the chamber itself where the water goes. And you can see the water goes right behind a set of pistons. You can do it either way. It's it's a symmetrical design, so you don't have to worry about you know right or wrong sides. And you can see that working just fine. And one thing you want to make sure is that when the pistons are extended, your doors are open. Um, otherwise, you have it in reverse. That's the only that's the only thing. So if if you, for some reason you have your doors open and your pistons retracted then you know if you've done something a little wrong. So here we go. And then this is the breeding section. So you have pretty much, this is where I would have doors. In fact, let's clean that up. Well, that doesn't look good. Um, oh well. Um, so this would be your breeding section. And you build that just right next to your uh, collection chamber. You can make it as big as you want or as small as you want. I recommend just going with something the exact same size. Um, that way you have at least a decent amount of um, animals all set up. There are some design considerations though when building this. Um, you do want to put a roof over the um, the collection chamber otherwise you have some issues and I'll go over that here. Um, so here we are in the killing chamber. You want to put some half slabs in. So slab, this slab, and you want to put that right above where the pistons come. And the reason being is that if you're going to put chickens or pigs in here, they will jump right on over and get themselves killed too early. Um, but if you have cows, you want to do without those. Otherwise, they can't get past that. Even if you're trying to get them collected. But that's it. Um, the roof is just mainly to keep them from jumping out when you get the water flowing. Um, then it becomes an issue. One thing I do not recommend is using fences, and I'll show you why. You have water running, and you have this little gap right here, and animals do get stuck on that, and it's annoying. So I recommend not using fences, but hey, if you want to use them, I'm not stopping you. So, and you have that continue on into, you could put your killing chamber right here if you really wanted to, but I like to move them elsewhere so you can kind of collect them all together. So you, you know, of course you put a water source block over there and move them out, and I'll show you some designs I had for killing chambers. Um, this one was made before the whole lava in dispensers was around, and I'm using fire charges. It all does... <laughs> Kind of amusing. Sets the uh, nether rack on fire, and just for a couple seconds, the chickens get on it, and it has a hundred percent yield, which is pretty cool. If you want a um, tutorial on that, I'll do it. it. Although all this large contraption got reduced to just a well lava bucket and a dispenser. So, but I was having problems with chickens. Um, yeah, you can see why no goods. And I was thinking, hmm, maybe it was because the lava was in there too f too long. So I went ahead and tried shortening it up with a monostable and well, that made me mad. <laughs> so I tried figuring out a solution and I finally came up with this one. It's the best solution so far. Um, you simply put a half block down below them instead and then you end up only flame kissing them and they drop their goods. And not only that, like I said earlier, it prevents the goods from being burnt up if you accidentally hit the button again. Anyway, this is just the killing, same exact killing design that I have for the cows and uh, pigs. 
except for the half block. And so you just put a block right next to, or a redstone torch right next to a piston, and then you can have a, a line, a redstone line going into it with connected to a button, or put the button right here if you wanted, and that works just fine. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video right over here so you can follow the design if you need. And thanks for watching.